Feed the neighborhood with a tailgate ready big bow box. It's bow time. Hello and welcome to Breeze TV's very new segment, The Sports Spot. Every week we'll be bringing you the biggest updates in the world of professional sports. And I'm your host, Colby Reese. To get things started, we'll look into what many people will be tuning into this weekend, which is NFL Championship Sunday. In the NFC, the 49ers will travel to Philly to take on the Eagles. The Niners are coming off a defensive battle win over the Cowboys, while the Eagles ran all over the Giants, putting up 268 rushing yards and a big win. San Francisco comes into this game having won 12 straight games. Seventh round quarterback Brock Purdy has been the story for the Niners, having yet to lose in his rookie season. The top seeded Eagles are looking to advance to the Super Bowl for the first time since their 2018 championship. Philadelphia will look to rely on their strong rushing attack against the Niners defense, which is one of the best in the league at stopping the run. The Eagles are currently two and a half point favorites and have a 65.3% chance of advancing to the Super Bowl, according to ESPN Analytics. The game at Lincoln Financial Field will kick off at 3 p.m. on Fox. Moving on to the AFC, it'll be a rematch from last season's AFC Championship game as the Bengals will once again travel to Arrowhead Field for a matchup with Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. Mahomes, who left and returned in the team's win over Jacksonville last week with an ankle injury, is expected to play. Joe Burrow is undefeated against Mahomes in his career, including a 27-24 win back in Week 13 of this season. Kansas City is hosting their fifth straight AFC Championship and will look to advance to the Super Bowl for their third time in five years. The Bengals were able to overcome the snow in Buffalo last week in a dominant 27-10 win over the Bills. Cincinnati comes into this matchup having not lost since Week 8. One matchup to keep an eye on is the Chiefs' high-scoring offense against the Bengals' defense. The Chiefs put up nearly 30 points a game, while the Bengals only allow about 14 points per game. The Chiefs are one and a half point favorites with a 65.5% chance of winning. Kickoff is at 6.30 p.m. on CBS. Now to give my take on how this weekend will play out. When the playoffs started, I said that it would be a 49ers Chiefs Super Bowl, which will be a rematch from a few years ago, and I'm sticking with that pick. I'm taking the Niners over the Eagles, 27 to 24. I believe that Kyle Shanahan will have a great game plan to attack that Eagles defense. And I'm taking the Chiefs over the Bengals. I believe Patrick Mahomes will finally get that win over Joe Burrow. I really like this Chiefs team and what they've been able to do this season. I'll take them 34 to 31. The NFL announced the finalists for the NFL honors earlier this week. Josh Allen, Joe Burrow, Jalen Hurts, Justin Jefferson, and Patrick Mahomes are all nominated for the most valuable player. Mahomes is looking to win his third MVP award, while Justin Jefferson, after an historic season, is looking to become the first wide receiver to win the MVP award ever. Defensive Player of the Year nominees include Nick Bosa, Chris Jones, and Micah Parsons, while the Offensive Player of the Year will be decided between Tyreek Hill, Jalen Hurts, Justin Jefferson, and Patrick Mahomes. The other awards include Offensive Rookie, Defensive Rookie, Comeback Player, Coach, and Assistant Coach of the Year. The winner of the awards will be announced at the NFL Honor Ceremony, which will take place on February 9th on NBC and NFL Network. While some teams are getting ready to take the field this weekend or starting their offseason, other teams are searching for who will be their new head coach next season. The Panthers hired Frank Wright, former Colts head coach and offensive coordinator of the Super Bowl winning Eagles in 2019. Wright played quarterback for Carolina back in 1995. This means the remaining head coach job openings include the Arizona Cardinals, Denver Broncos, Houston Texans, and Indianapolis Colts, while plenty of teams are looking to fill coordinator roles. The Athletic reported that the Panthers and Texans have the most attractive openings. The big name everyone will be keeping their eyes on is Sean Payton, who coached the Saints from 2006 until 2021. New Orleans does hold Payton's coaching rights and have been asking teams for a first round pick in any discussions involved around the current NFL and Fox analysts. D'Amico Ryan's current defensive coordinator of the Niners is also a top candidate to receive a head coaching position. Another major name is Dan Quinn, who will be returning to the Cowboys as their defensive coordinator after multiple interviews. He led the Falcons to the Super Bowl back in 2016. It should be interesting to see where the pieces fall as the NFL offseason kicks into full gear. The NBA revealed the all-star captain and starters yesterday. The players are selected through a voting process which gives fans 50% of the vote while the NBA players and media panel each get 25% of the say. LeBron James and Giannis Antetokounmpo were named as the captains of the game. 
James ties Kareem Abdul-Jabbar for the most all-star appearances with 19. The, vote, the voted starters in the West are Zion Williamson, Nikola Jokic, Steph Curry, and Luka Doncic. Anson Nkumpa, who is captaining the Eastern Conference for the third time, is joined by Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, Jason Tatum, and Donovan Mitchell. In the starting lineup for the East, the NBA All-Star Draft will take place on the same day as the All-Star Game as the captains will draft their team live in a new format. The All-Star Game will take place on February 19th at 8 p.m. on TNT. The draft will air live just before then. The U.S. men's national soccer team took the field on Wednesday in Los Angeles for the first time since the World Cup. Off the field, the team is still deciding on who will be the team's new manager. After much drama circulated around Greg Berhalter, Anthony Hudson is currently filling in as interim coach. Many big names like Jose Mourinho have been linked to the job. Berhalter is still in contention to keep his role and lead the team into the 2006 World Cup, which will take place in the United States along with Canada and Mexico. It was also announced this morning that the United States will host the 2024 Copa America. The tournament, which includes teams from South America and CONCACAF, will be the USA's fifth appearance in the competition. Back to Wednesday's game, Serbia provided a tough test for the U.S. men's national team. Brandon Vasquez scored his first goal for the country in his debut game. Eight players made their debut for the U.S. Serbia were able to level the match right before halftime and carry that momentum into the second half as they take the lead one minute in. Serbia never looked back as they hold on to beat the U.S. men's national team on their home soil 2-1. The United States will look to bounce back tomorrow as they'll face Colombia at 7.30 p.m. on TNT. Well, that's all for our very first episode of The Sports Spot. We hope you enjoyed it and that you'll tune in next week, where co-host Eric Showhouse will give you all the major news in the world of sports. I would like to give a quick shout out to Ellie Finza, Sam Reinard, and Zoe Mowry for working hard to put this show together. And I'm looking forward to what the show will bring in the future. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Take care, everyone.